Despite the obvious dangers, Glenn and Heather insist their love for wingsuit flying is all about living life to the full. Now well into their 50s, they train every day and live a vegan lifestyle on their property on the outskirts of Sydney. But still, there's nothing more they love than a new challenge. So, late last year, they flew to Antarctica in a Russian cargo plane. It's this gigantic titanium dinosaur that has wings. I mean, how can this thing ever get off the ground? Yeah. But, you know, that said, it's an awesome, awesome aircraft, incredibly practical. They landed at Union Glacier, halfway between the Antarctic coast and the South Pole. This is a camp for high-end tourists seeking adventure during the summer months. But the arrival of two Aussie wingsuit flyers was a first. This place is incredible, but oh so cold. I'm already worrying about flying a wingsuit here. You've done this so many times, but every time you do it, is there a moment when you question yourself? Oh, for me, absolutely. Every time I go, why are we doing this? <laughs> But it's, it's because you're a human being. Yes, it's because I'm a woman too. Women have a more sensitive fear response than men. Boo. Most women. Woohoo! Here we go. We spend a long time thinking about this and this is the moment where it's all got to come together. No one has flown in a wingsuit over Antarctica before. The conditions are freezing. 35 degrees below. And the wind can be fierce. And on the ground, there are deep crevasses. But as Glenn and Heather take to the skies, it's a perfect December day. And looking out over this spectacular alien environment, that's something else. Mountaineers call it the undiscovered country. You journey to these physical places that are really remote and exotic, but that's a metaphor for finding the remote and exotic parts of yourself. And any second now we were going to be flying over it and seeing it in a way that no one has ever seen it before. So and there are really... no birds there, so yeah. <laughs> we're, the, we're the first yeah. birds, yeah. ice birds. So you're sitting there and at that point, but moments before you step out, you're good. Good, yeah. Yeah, good, calm, centred, knew I had what it took. I do, I have what it takes. When you step out of that plane, that's it. You're in this totally surreal, otherworldly place that hardly anybody gets to experience. And to me, it was joyous. It was a really like, wow, we're really here. We're really doing it. It's the first wingsuit skydive over Antarctica and we're in it. The most beautiful jump we've ever done. There are mountains and white, white snow and blue, blue sky as far as you can see, uninterrupted, stunning. Glenn and Heather flew for just over three minutes before they pulled their ripcords. In an extreme sports career full of real highs and devastating lows, this mission to Antarctica was their most satisfying yet. Uh -oh. 
I could hear Heather whooping, you know, like the whole of camp could hear Heather whooping. And we are so privileged to have, you know, been able to do that and do it together that it's probably the most special jump that we will ever do. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>